Hello you, it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to me standing under a tree and me telling you how to build that tree. So today we're going to be learning how to build this little planter and it's probably not going to be a very long video just like the fountain wall was and then it's actually very similar but just a bit smaller to the fountain I guess in a way. So yeah, today we're just going to be showing you how to build this little planter. Very, very simple, very, very customizable as well. I'm going to show you how to build this exactly pretty much, but you can also change the uh, types of trees, the types of shrubbery at the bottom. You can have no you can have no wall, I guess this would be, not a fence, or you could have a wall, it's up to you. But I'm gonna show you it so that it looks like this, and then you can make your own decisions from there. But without further ado then, let's get on with this tutorial. So as always, first of all, I recommend that you set out your space here. This is just a 4x4 four four area, although the plant is only 2x2 two two really. Uh, I'm going to do a 4x4 four four area so that you have the entire figure here. And of course, I've just set this out with concrete and ice as usual. And we're just going to set it up just like this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into terrain, block manipulation, remove slash air, and we're just going to get rid of, sorry, up to two right here. <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. We're going to go to a 2x2 two two space like this. We're going to get pebble paths or whatever path that you want to use. Personally, I use pebble. Again, you can change this to whatever you want. And of course, we're going to need to turn off curbs. When you actually place down a path, it'll have a curb. So just make sure you click this little button here to turn off the curb. And then we're just going to go all the way around in a 4x4 four four like this. So that we're leaving that 2x2 two two in the middle empty. So next then what we're going to do is we're going to go into scenery. Then we're going to go to a primitive. We're going to scroll all the way across until we find the kind of opposite to a um, opposite to a curve sort of thingy. And you're just going to call that the same colour as your path. So I'm going to go for pebble and for uh, grey like this because that's the path that I'm using. We're going to set the item snapping default, uh, I mean the item snapping vertical to no snapping. We're going to rotate it so it's to the right corner and we're just going to lift it up so that it just matches that path. Hold shift of course and we're just going to bring that round to every single corner. So we have something looking a little bit like this. Now don't worry about colouring any of the terrain because we're really not going to be able to see that. So... God, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold right now as I'm recording this video. Um, so we've got these curves right like this. So now what we're going to do is get the actual curve things here. Now I colour it this colour here because that's like a dirty brown sort of colour. And we're going to go down to the rock material. And we're just going to set both of those to default. And then we're just going to click one there, one there one there and one there so just defaults so that you've got this slight little lip so this just means that if you decide to not have a wall you can actually just leave it like this and i think this still looks all right actually because you've got that little lip so it makes sense almost in a way but we are going to add a lip to ours but obviously to each their own it depends on what you want to do here so we're actually going to add the lip which is probably the hardest part of this tutorial here <coughs> <coughs> oh bloody hell uh <laughs> my throat's going a bit if you can't tell um so we're just going to grab the monorail here and we're going to colour it these colours. We're just going to colour them all this colour. So that one there, that one there and that one there. Oops, I've accidentally just reset the colour. So you just want to have the colours like that. And we're just going to place it here. Just one away like that. Well, I guess two away from this curve. So if we just go here and go one, two like that. We're just going to place that in. Go into the advanced editor now. And we're going to turn auto smooth your own pitch off. Uh, we're going to just drag this across until it's uh, about in line, but what we want to do is this edge piece here, we want to line that up with the edge there, and then we want to bring this red one down here, this little red one, we're just going to bring that down until that bottom lip has disappeared. Uh, so we should have it in a place kind of like this. So then next, what we're going to do is we're just going to click build, we're going to turn auto smoothing on, and we're just going to turn that piece of track like this. I know this can be quite difficult, you can also turn on snapping, that will help out a little bit, but in my opinion, it's easy just to do it this way. So we're just going to keep on going all the way around a curve like this, we're just going to curve around like this. It's just will take a bit of trial and error, as you can see, just to get it right. So just give it a second. Don't rush it and just uh, take as long as you need, really, here. So we'll go around like this. Just curve that a little bit more. Bring that back like that. And then we're just going to go back. Remove this little uh, wiggly part here. Just click remove. Make sure it's on this station and just click remove again. Then we're going to go back into the monorail, as you can see right here. We're going to click edit track ride. Um, and then we're just going to turn it bring it back and it should just snap in like that automatically so you don't need to do anything it'll come up with this error but we just need to ignore that because we're not actually going to use this as a monorail it's just for looks 
so there you go. You've got your monorail there. I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, they are all the right colours. I think it's just because of the lighting that makes it look a bit different. So that's how you do your little lip here. If you're interested in adding a lip, like I said before, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Next, then, we're going to do scenery. Now, in this example right here, I just used bushes and these rocks, but I'm going to use the different bushes and the different rocks for this one here. Of course, it's completely up to what you put in here. You could put any sort of tree or anything, which is what I'm doing right here, just showing you. So, sorry, I didn't really go through that. We're going to change the horizontal to no snapping and the vertical to no snapping, and we're just going to bring it down a little bit, just to the amount that we think. That This bigger piece, we want to put that to the middle, and we just want to rotate that round a bit like this, like this, uh, we'll bring it down a little bit more just so we get the, that little piece right there and we'll just chuck in a little bit like that Honestly, I think I prefer this one a bit more than this one, but it's completely up to you So next then what we're gonna get I do is just get this rock here And we're just gonna bring that in just in some places like this Just make it a little bit rocky in some places. Just make it look a bit more interesting really So now we've done all that We're gonna put our tree in now I recommend using the big tree here Just sink it down a little bit and just bring that into the middle Although you can use any tree really, but this one just kind of fits it well because as you can see it kind of is about the same size as the planter, so it does kind of make sense. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, now for the tree, you can see I've colored this slightly different because I think that's a little bit better. So if you want to change these colors, you just keep the first color the same. We change this one to here and then we change color free to that, which just gives it a bit more variety in the color. Now, the one last thing that I do want to show you is if you're bothered, you can obviously add a lantern. So I'm just going to change this lantern here. I'm not really going to show you the colors, but they're all the colors if you're really that bothered. Uh, we're just going to snap, set that to half, set this to default, and we're just going to chuck one in there and in there. So then we just have a bit of lighting. So if we do PS admin uh, set time of day to zero, it's a little bit lit up under there. Of course, you can turn your light it and lights up however much you want. So we can do 2.5 and 20 is what I think will look nice here. And there we go. We've got a nice little lighted up area now. The only problem is you won't really be able to do um, trash cans and stuff, but you can still chuck them in. They'll just look a little bit strange because um, you'll have to put it like that. And they will be a little bit off the path and wonky. But, I mean, honestly, you don't really need to do that after all, do you? But anyway, that's that's everything for today's episode. Although this one has been another really short one, it's only been about six minutes, I hope this has been very helpful for you guys. So if you have enjoyed, please do leave a like, subscribe, check out all the links down below. There's my other channels and my Discord where you get early releases and stuff. Check out the videos that are popping up right now. There's the series and the random video. But except from that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in another video. Goodbye!